so guys goat ho gaya like we've done the goat bit we have figured out some names we have a little we we'll, we we'll, we'll print out posters and billboards for them but one of the great things about having like very few medalists and very few real contenders is that we have a lots of misses bahut log hain jo fourth finish kiye sixth finish kiye so i'm uh, i'm just wondering like there are these stories about these men and women also which are really intriguing which a lot of people may not have heard about hey tell us like some people like this fourth place finish this sixth place finish these people uh, have always battled the system come out they have these great stories and just i just want like one name from all of you just give me a brief story about one olympian who has done something that perhaps nobody would have heard about and if you can just give us a little bit of a quick story so here shri ram singh i really want to hear about him please tell me which who ever jaydeep sir ke shri ram singh see shri ram singh coming in the sixth position we still rem- see i don't know much uh, about the technicalities of the dress but we were watching that we watched it on t- watched it on tv and i still remember he was come very close to in the first three positions after after years and then uh, slowly going back and finally he finished sixth and we must we must remember the fact that he came sixth in an olympic which was a full olympics four years think, later another olympics was held in which which a lot of teams did not come then again came los angeles where well, uh, i'm talking about this because 80 we won the hockey gold 84 uh, uh, pt usha came fourth in the olympics but all were truncated olympics some teams did not come for some reason or the other some nation did not come but 76 was not like that and 76 i remember because if you ask me personally i remember it too well for the simple reason the hockey team did disastrous too that was the first olympic many years we did not did not win a medal i think like st- since the first 19- olympics ever Yeah, yeah. After nineteen, not first Olympics ever. Oh, well, first, uh, since yeah, we started first, winning. Sorry, yeah. Since we started winning, this is the first. Um, uh, so oh, that was a huge disappointment. And in that, in in that light, in that particular light, he is coming sixth. Hmm. Was it was a big big boost for everybody? I was only fifteen at that point of time. I remember. Hmm. And I and I and I can. I can tell you one more story about him. In nineteen, it was nineteen ninety-eight, mm. and uh, I was in the Hindu Sun Times. Ninety-nine, I was in the Hindu Sun Times. I was sitting uh, 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 at my desk, and one gentleman walked in with a press release in hand, and I looked at him. He was Ram Singh. Mm. He said he was doing some something in the at the modern school ground. Wow. So if you if you will be if you will be nice enough to. Uh, uh, write a few paragraphs. I said yes, sir, certainly. And uh, there were several of my colleagues sitting around, and uh, uh, and I'm sorry to say nobody remem- nobody recognized him. So I introduced the, uh, other, other other my other colleagues, and uh, and I went down with him uh, to that was around seven o'clock or so. So I went down with him to see him off. And then he asked me where is the bus stop from here on the here. Yeah. So I said you have to go on the right and in front of American library there is a bus stop. He said okay I will get a bus from there. He has to go from somewhere. So uh, I thought he is the greatest the dog in Indian sports. <laughs> so none of us remember. So I remember Sri Ram Singh in uh, that manner. But what he did, I don't think many 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 Indian male, male athletes can. Cup to meet. You are not only reaching the final; you are reaching the final of the 800 meters and finishing sixth. It's it's incredible achievement, considering the fact again that it was a full Olympics. There was no boycott. There was uh, uh, there was no top top top, top athletes around. Mm. My uh, favorite uh, sort of Olympic uh, underdog. Almost uh, underdog is Gurcharan Singh, the boxer, uh, at the Sydney Olympics. Uh, so we were talking about him. Yeah, you know, and he was just—he uh, did—he did well. He literally reached the last round, and it was li- until Abhinav Bindra won his. No, I think Abhinav I'm trying to think. Until Abhinav Bindra won his gold medal, I assumed that the story of Indian athletes would, by and large, be like 
आधा सेकंड आधा पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो से हाथ जाएंगे यू नो इट विल बी इट विल इवेड 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 एंड गुरचरण वाज अ प्राइम एग्जांपल ऑफ दैट एंड इट्स लिटरली इट वाज लाइक सम सडन डेथ फिनिश एंड देयर वर 10 सेकंड्स लेफ्ट एंड नॉट इवन 10 सम 5 सेकंड्स लेफ्ट लाइक हाउ द इंडियन हॉकी टीम इन सिडनी आई थिंक दे यस 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 आई कैन सी एवरीवन इज क्राइंग ha huh? so good chance is that story and then he went and became a professional boxer he he he, he left the army he disappeared he disappeared and and, and came yeah, yeah. olympic and if this was hollywood movie he would come back and coach the next gold medal but of course this is not a hollywood movie this is an indian sport in indian sport you just get kicked if something like this happens to you you know so that, it is that story and so therefore when uh, and uske beech mein the boxing federation had some problem and ye sab hua tha and then in 2008 when Bijender won his medal and he had so many boxers who qualified. It's almost like you thought they all remembered Gurcharan, all of them. You know, at the time there was uh, uh, there was Akhil, uh, there was Bijender, there was Bijender uh, Singh. They all remember. They all remembered Gurcharan and and how they all cried. You know, he said, "Yeah, I'm not crying. Don't worry. I'm not crying with you." Mm. You know, so he he is he is that kind of a figure um, that 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 you think of that you remember. So actually, like it's like very hilarious. But when we were in 2000, I remember. I don't know. I think I have a feeling like Shahda, you were perhaps working at India Today at that point of time. Yes. Uh, so yes. India Today had done this great Olympic probables. करके उन्होंने एक पूरा स्टील चलाया. Yeah, yeah. Great photograph. Beautiful. उसमें yeah, अभी yeah. भी तीन फोटो Bandeep अभी भी मेरे कबड़ में लगे हुए हैं आज तक. Bandeep Singh. Bandeep Singh. Brilliant pictures. Brilliant pictures. Yeah. So there was one of Philip Turkey, which obviously like हमारे घर पे बहुत बड़ा. One was Gurcharan Singh and the third was Dinko Singh. So yes. I remember. Yes, 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 yes. So, and really uh, taken in sort of like an Indian context and you know that kind of yeah. picture that we took. Of, and of, of, and we had the opportunity to actually, Chapa. actually, it it only shows us how luck changes, isn't it, yeah. Sharda? Yeah. Like, well, there is not much change between third and fourth, but yeah, yeah. It, it's like that. See, in in Beijing. Who 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 thought that uh, that Akhil will lose? What I mean to say that that who thought that Akhil will lose and Vijinder will become Vijinder will become exactly. Akhil. So that's true. That's true. I agree. Uh, that, I agree. That, <laughs> that's the that's the reason. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, that's the reason that. Uh, But Vijinder is a in two thousand in two thousand four when two thousand. When 2004 in Athens, uh, Rathor was Rathor. Rathor, we were all celebrating Rathor, and at one corner with a with a with a, uh, 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 standing uh, alone was uh, Abhinav Bindra, and nobody was looking at him. He lost by a few points only, and four years later he he became the greatest hero. So I feel sometimes it's a it's a champion's luck only. There is not much difference between the third place and the fourth place. But somebody becomes a legend and somebody is forgotten. But Gurcharan um, was like that epic sort of a story, yeah. almost that so passing Tomar kind what, of. Story. That's what I remember. The passing Tomar, yeah. uh, the passing Tomar story is sort of Indian sport in a capsule, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. And it's still that's the same. What, I don't think it's changed yeah. that much. I think they better looked after now. It's, it's not. It's not so when. So it's it's a it's a it's a shot that it's like that. Uh, see, in the last forty minutes, we have now never never even once spoken about uh, uh, Gurchand Singh Ramawa. Hmm. I was so I, that was my athlete. That was my athlete. <laughs> sorry, Leslie. So, that was my athlete. He sorry, took. Sorry, Leslie. I love. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a. I I must have cried really lots that uh, I remembered him first. Uh, so like, so, really so, lots. so I was gonna I, I was gonna mention T S Randawa. I was gonna mention T S Randawa. And I was going to ask uh, Jaydeep's help to actually narrate narrate this larger context because I I can only go by what he has done as far as I've read, and uh, so, so the thing is, even hmm. I don't know much much. I I have met him several times, but all yeah. the legendary stories we don't know much about him. Yeah. Because so, not many people have our predecessors have ne- never uh, not never even written about him. So the so and the so the point was that when I was when I was a cub reporter and I oh, uh, one of my mentors. Also, sorry to interrupt. Suddenly Henry the Bellows name has just come to mind. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So, go ahead, go ahead. so when. <laughs> Uh, well, so when I was a cub reporter, I was and uh, we were discussing athletes and all that stuff. And there was a story that came in, and uh, someone uh, again, a colleague of mine, made a mistake with with Randhawa, and uh, my my mentor and my editor then he had uh, given a study on who G S Randhawa is and how we should be ashamed as post journalists that we should we don't know him. And then I made it a point to 
understand who he is and what he is uh, try to understand so as far as his performance is concerned a deck athlete who who did uh, at the 1964 tokyo olympics again a full olympics he finished fifth in the 110 meters hurdles i believe and uh, uh, he also competed in a couple of other events in that in that because because he had that right base so arguably if you ask me in that era he must be the greatest athlete because he was he was a versatile athlete he was a deck athlete and he was an asian champion in in decathlon so uh, and yeah please jaydeep if you can add to that because uh, gs randava is a larger figure which, which that's what that's what i say i am only adding it that the his i don't know why he's never discussed the amount of amount is written on milka singh why it is not being written on him i don't understand it was he a rebel why, why it, i don't know hi uh, i don't was a rebel because he was AF, he was in the afi he was in the he was in the chief of the selectors for such a long time uh, uh, i doubt whether he was a rebel and uh, uh, if you guys don't mind like may i also like there's uh, there's one name that's coming to mind like i also want to wrap up this chat a little bit because i feel like everyone uh, is getting a little pitchy yeah but uh, but, but uh, going back to gurcharan because we were having a conversation between me and vibhav because trying to trace him so gurcharan with hindsight again when we are discussing legacy and all that i kept saying hindsight hindsight so i feel that that medal lost is 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 indicative of of the churn because i don't think it's because he lost that he jumped ship i think that idea was there might before he was right. mulling it through the competition and probably that reflected in him losing out because his mind was preoccupied with something else okay. and we know what that was now so yeah, yeah, yeah. so 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 the name that's like coming to mind for me is like basically we are like four to three or four generations of people on this chat and the funny thing the best thing about being like indian at the olympics is that these four generations of koi farak nahi hai pehla medal kab aaya tha 52 ke baad individual 1996 mein leander pe so jaydeep sir and i have seen the same first medal as i was like very young and jaydeep sir so it as like a journalist so individual we're talking yeah, about yeah individual individual, individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and for yeah. me like when we talk about underdogs with i mean i know again this is what happens time like erodes a lot of legacies a lot of memories like leander's now been around for so long that people have forgotten that he did this thing yeah and that's just the, yeah that's the, that's the awful thing about what's happening uh, you know the fact that that he's still competing and he's still there so you see the new leander you know it's the same thing sunil gavaskar you see the new sunil gavaskar you don't see the great batsman of the 1970s yeah. who 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 because of whom india uh, the indian team you know survived whatever so it's the same thing with leander when leander came into the scene he was like he, he and tendulkar are literally same generation mm. uh, anushratan yeah, all born 1990, in 1990 1990 and, and, and i must yeah. say in order of handsomeness in order of handsomeness it's leander <laughs> vishi sachin <laughs> everything and talking Uh, he was an incredible Davis Cup, an incredible team man, and then he won this freaky medal. And what I, what everyone wants to talk about Leander and, and his achievement, I said, Leander's record with Pete Sampras is hundred, hundred percent. He played one match and won that one match, you know. And uh, so he was that kind of a player. He was just like a spark, and he was a, a breath of fresh air at that time. You know, he yeah. was just incredible. And, and now. Oh, people don't remember that you know so so that that one medal that he won it was so fitting that he had to win it because only he was capable of doing something out of this world unexpected that was what his game and the, and the re real perspective when we look at leander's legacy of overstaying is that is he is tennis is allowing him to overstay because he is still there he yeah. can he can he can compete he has maintained his fit is so finicky i have i have been lucky enough to spend time, additional time with him because a uh, couple of chennai open tournaments uh, he, he has a sleep problem because of all the traveling that he does so he used to come and sit and talk a lot through the night and uh, so the amount of i mean 
attention to detail about his preparations, fitness, about he drinks water. We drink, we were drinking other potent stuff, but he was <laughs> drinking water and rehydration ke liye, and he also has a mixture of whatever uh, sauce and all that which he would take in later before going to sleep. So uh, from the socks, from the racket that he used, the shoe sizes, everything is set so that his longevity he can he can compete at that level and he is he is still. I mean, he can fight his way into the Indian team. So that's reflective of how bad Indian <laughs> tennis is rather than how bad Leander is. So. And like, I think like when you talk about Leander, like it must also be said that Leander was not a product of a system. He was, a, he was essentially who he is because of the great man that his father is. Also. No, I, so, I, I, yeah. I, I disagree here. I disagree no? here. No, but no, I completely disagree here. He, he, he was a product of a system. Because India had a very good tennis legacy. Mm. Tennis was uh, not, uh, not played in not uh, Leslie. Tennis was not played in Olympics for many many years. Yeah. Had it been played, I wonder whether whether people like Ramanathan Krishnan or Vijay Amritraj or for that matter Jayadeep Mukherjee or for that matter Ramesh Krishnan Ramesh, Ramesh Krishnan, would have, yeah. Krishnan would have also come up with. I'm not saying they would have won a medal. That that nobody can t- say talk about. But I think. India missed out on one sports. If India missed out on one sports in Olympics, that was tense. So you they had a good history. You have, to, you have to, you have to remember one thing. Before Leander won a won a won a tennis medal in Olympics, India reached three or three finals. 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 Yeah, yeah. So Correct. India was a world force in that sport. Sport that the game was not played in Olympics was. Not only India's misfortune, it, it was misfortune of so many other great And players. as far as game is so, concerned, he got into, got to, excuse I'm mean, sorry, he so got into a system where Ramesh Krishna and all these great players were there in that system already, mentoring him. Yeah, yeah. So he was a product of India's, India's fairly good tennis system. I won't say it was a great system, even it is not now a great system, but fairly all the tennis system. So it is, he's not an offshoot, he's not, he's, he's not somebody who has been thrown from the that's what yeah. I mean to say. Uh, I think perhaps like what I was saying was uh, I was just trying to you know support my hockey brethren a little more than the tennis brethren <laughs> up to my space like come on <laughs> but also like so I Leander we are like so all, all of us have somehow managed to fanboy over him a little bit fanboy and fanboy yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah yeah but the thing is this <laughs> is like crazy man uh, I don't remember that game, that bronze medal match. So perhaps you guys, you, you must have seen it. So do you have any one memories? I'm trying to think of, I, I don't even remember seeing the match. Yeah. I same have, same I with me. Same with me. My memory of that game is defined by Andre Agassi for some reason. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a memory of seeing the score and saying, oh, finally we have won a medal. That's what I saw. Because at that time you had hockey and something else. Hockey and something else. That's what it used to be. So, uh, so that will be that. It's, it's pretty I much the same today. I don't, I don't remember. Ah, we were, ah, ah. We were ah, oh. particular, particular moment I don't remember. But I used to, I, I remember the way he used to tumble on the court. <laughs> you remember remember while it. going for follies. Boris Becker style. Oh, oh. That was less really, elegant. Uh, but yeah. that, oh, that, that really caught his caught his opponents on the wrong foot every time. He was incredible as an athlete. Oh, he was he was worth watching on the on the on the on the TV. So okay. there was no doubt he was he did a, he had a great time in 1996. Uh, and uh, the 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 uh, he won his only the, ATP title singles title I think in the same year. Uh, it's a pretty short that 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 he in, went in for. It? No, no, it's uh, a Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Newport, Newport. Newport. Yeah. yeah, Newport. Newport. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a for doubles. I think he did right. He never had that. Full that new thing. session. My book, full no, new that, session. Can have the the problem, this is anyway three parts. This is, this is anyway several parts. We have got a vote, a underdog, a whole video on Leander. Now we talk about Lee Hesh. The scourge of doubles in tennis. Okay, guys, like I must say, like thanks a lot for coming on. There's so much more we can talk about. There's so much, but I also feel like it's a little bit late because Olympics this year have not happened, and we're still talking about it. So, next year, chance will be. Leander Bass, we will cover Leander Bass. Eighth or ninth Olympics, seventh or ninth or whatever. 
It's not going to be called the Olympics after this. It's going to be called the Leanders. We will call it the Leanders. So thanks a lot for coming on. And guys, like whoever's watching this, uh, I'm assuming that you all have some views of your own on who the greatest Olympian is of all time. Perhaps the greatest underdog story. Is there a name you would like us to like also talk about and perhaps tell you about? Do write in. Do give us some comments. Don't comment on my beard. Instead, use this opportunity to talk about something bigger. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you so much, Jaydeep sir, Sharda ma'am, Leslie, for coming on, and have a good day. Thank you.